News Center 7. There are several private alerting systems local governments use for severe weather and public safety. Red Alert and Hyperreach are just two of them. Multiple governments in the Miami Valley told the I-Team you can check with your county, city, or township to see what they offer and sign up for alerts. Degrees. We are again under a storm tracking alert. That lightning kept me up. The thunder. What about you? Did you see? I heard the thunder. I expected more rain, but you know we got what we got. Right, I just <laughs> slept through it. Here's a storm center seven meteorologist Kirsty Zantini. Good morning. Well, very similar to yesterday, we will have the potential for those storms to redevelop as we start to heat up this afternoon. Early this morning, you can see we just have some rain showers passing through the Miami Valley. No thunder lightning on this activity. As we progress through the day, though, that chance for showers and storms will be increasing. So we don't have the threat for any severe weather this morning. Even as we head towards 1 o'clock in the afternoon, pretty low just in general. But we'll likely still have a lot of dry areas across the Miami Valley. Once we head past 2 o'clock, though our threat for severe weather will increase. We'll track some passing thunderstorms at 5 30, 6 o'clock and then as we head later into the night once we get past about 10 or 11 we're back down to dry weather and we don't have to worry about severe weather as you head into the night tonight. So that is some good news. Always nice that you could head to bed and we don't have the threat for those strong storms. Let's take a look live outside this morning in Greenville, one of the areas where we've had that rain and it's been enough to keep the roads wet early this morning. But again, no thunder or lightning on anything early. It's just rain showers that you have those windshield wipers going if you're going to head out the door. It's 68 degrees in Piqua, 64 in Richmond, 71 right now in Dayton. So really most of you will wake up, walk outside and notice it's warm and muggy. And satellite is showing on radar as well that we just have these passing rain showers. And they're going to continue to drift from the south to the north as we head through the rest of our morning. A little bit of downpour activity going to head right over Greenville early this morning. Morning. Some showers that are going to be heading up through the far northern Miami Valley and a little bit of light rain near Springboro as well. Our afternoon forecast today, we hit the mid to upper 70s. It will be very humid this afternoon, so you'll definitely notice the warmth. And our thunderstorm energy does build in as the day goes on. You can see at 5 o'clock as those storms are developing, uh, we do have most of the energy across the eastern half of the Miami Valley. So this could signify a slightly better chance if you're east of I-75 to see those afternoon storms. Future cast shows this morning, we do have those rain showers moving through. Lunchtime, you can see a lot of our cities are still dry, but it's going to be as we head past 2 o'clock, we start to see these thunderstorms develop. They will likely go from the south to the north again, so that could mean a few cities get hit with storms multiple times, and that could increase our potential for some flooding. So main weather threat, we are under a slight risk, so a 2 out of 5 today for the potential of severe weather. Damaging wind gusts will have areas, I think, of some minor flooding. Our tornado threat is low, but it's not zero. I don't expect, though, that it will be very high as we head throughout the afternoon. Tonight, we're going to drop to 61. We do not have the threat for severe weather overnight. And then tomorrow, getting back up to 71. And we will have a couple rain showers still lingering across the area tomorrow. You can see these are very hit or miss, though, for the afternoon, kind of winding down as we head into our Friday night. The good news is by the time we head into our holiday weekend, we are dry Saturday, Sunday, and Monday with lots of sunshine, especially building in on Sunday and Monday, sunny skies. So Memorial Day this year, we do not have the threat for severe weather. And as we head through next week, you can see just how hot we're going to get, likely seeing two 90-degree days in a row on Tuesday and Wednesday. Let's get a check on what you can expect heading out the door. I showed you those wet driving conditions in Greenville, Sarge. Are we seeing any issues out on the road? You know, we managed to dodge any major problems so far, Chris, but we're watching uh, for any weather-related slowdowns that could pop up on the freeway right now. Uh, things uh, continue to look good. Here's uh, Interstate 75. And this is the Stanley Avenue camera. This is generally a pretty busy spot. Picking up some volume there. Travel times, though, as we mentioned, are, uh, are very good. I'm Sergeant Mark Bauer and WHIO Team Traffic. 522, now 72 degrees. As our pets spend more time outside in the summer heat, they become prime targets for ticks. We spoke with a local animal hospital about how to keep our pets safe from these parasites.